Mind maps are an awesome feature that gives you space to visualize your tasks, as well as act as a blank canvas for brainstorming big ideas. Get ready to expand your mind. You can add a mind map view by selecting the add view option on a list, then choosing mind maps. Now, you're gonna see two choices, either the tasks option or the blank option. Let's start with the tasks one, which will instantly create a mind map out of existing space, folder, or list, giving you an organized new visual for your ClickUp tasks. Once created, you'll see your chosen location laid out as a tree chart. The box, which the tree first sprouts, is called the root, and from the root springs boxes called nodes. In this case, your space is your root, and your tasks are the nodes. If the node has a subtask, a checklist, or any other subsection attached to it, you can reveal it by clicking the plus icon that sticks out of the right end of the node. To collapse the locations, simply click the minus icon on an expanded node and watch it disappear. The last thing you'll see on the node is the icon with arrows pointing in four corners. Clicking these will instantly expand the task and take you to its home page. When you create a task mind map, you'll notice the connector colors vary from node to node. This is no happy accident. Each color represents something different about the node, such as if that node is connected is a folder, list, or task. But here's the fun part. If you expand your mind map down to the task and subtask levels, the connector colors will match the status color of the task or subtask, giving you an instant heads up on its progress. Okay, let's get into how new tasks work with your mind map. To add a new task in mind map view, click on the list you want to add to, and then select the plus icon that appears. Once you create your brand new task, you can expand it to add more details, branching out as far as you please. Something you can also do within mind maps is move tasks between lists. Just select the connector on the task you want to move and drag its root connection to a new list. We also made sure that there were plenty of task editing capabilities in your mind map view. You can rename tasks and select multiple tasks by holding shift and clicking as many as you'd like to save some time. With one or a few tasks selected, you can use the multitask toolbar at the top of your screen to make adjustments. If you need an intro to the multitask toolbar, just head on over to our help docs. Oh, and in case you're worried about your mind map getting too big to handle, rest assured that at the bottom left-hand side of the view, you have the option to zoom in and out so it can always fit on your screen. All right, now let's go back to where we began. And instead of clicking the task option, let's dive into the blank option, where the world is literally your oyster. With this option, you can create a new route and start building out nodes from scratch. Lots of people find the mind map view great for noticing missing steps in a process. So they love knowing you can save any node as a new task in any location. You also have the ability to fully customize your connector colors based on whatever you want them to be. This is your chance to get creative. Before we let you go, here are some shortcuts for mind maps. As you're organizing nodes, your mind map might be messy. If at any point you want to make your mind map beautiful and organized again, just hit the Relayout button at the top right of your mind map. When typing the task name, hitting Enter or Return will immediately take you to a new sibling node on the same level. Think of this as making a two-headed monster that wants you to be more productive. Hitting Tab instead of Enter will take you to a new child node of the one you just created. Think of this as a quick way to sprout a leaf on one of your branches. Hitting the spacebar will center your selected node on screen, which will simply save you precious seconds of navigation. Well, that's about it for mind maps. We hope you dig this powerful new way to visualize your project and find it useful for making your complex projects feel a little more doable. If you have any questions about mind maps, let us know at help at clickup.com.